teacher friends! Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to share with you how I adapted a ULS science lesson to fit the needs of my students who are not speaking. So if you may or may not know, I have seven students in my classroom and they are not speaking. So we have to adapt the lesson to meet their needs. So our lesson this week that we did for Friday Fun Day was a fun science experiment where we explored soft versus rough. So what we did is we took three blank CDs and then we took cotton ball, tissue, and sandpaper. We asked the question, what happens when we rub these items on the CD? Will they make many scratches? Will they make some scratches? Will they make no scratches? Of course, we made our hypothesis, our educated guess, and then we did the experiment, and then we made a conclusion. Was our hypothesis correct or incorrect? So the one thing I love about ULS is the lesson comes already prepped, ready for our students. You could just print it out. If your students are more independent, they can follow along as you do it on, for me, I have an Elmo or a projector, so I can project it and if you have more independent students, they can just follow along. For my students who need more assistance, we use our AAC devices. So for my student who is visually impaired, we have a single message device and we had a 3D support. So this is actual sandpaper on the button and when she pushes it, it says rough, rough to describe the sandpaper. And then we also had a button with a soft foam little um, circle on it so that she could say <laughs> soft and then she could pair that with the cotton ball or the tissue paper. When it came time to observing if it made many scratches, no scratches or some scratches, she was able to touch this for many and this for none. And so if you can see, they're 3D printed. These are from Adaptive Design, Association Inc. For my students who make errorless choices or make choices from a field of two, we have our single message device here. So they're able to choose rough, and then you can see the picture of a rough texture that came with the ULS curriculum. And then they were able to also push the button for soft so you can see that um, there is a picture of soft on there. And then for those students so that they could also communicate that the CD has many scratches, some scratches or no scratches, we have visuals here and I'll do a close-up look at them and so we're able to hold this up and they're able to either eye gaze at the correct answer or they're able to reach out and touch their correct answer. So that way when our students answer in their preferred method then our paraprofessionals can assist them in filling out their data sheets. So I also have a student who uses an eye gaze board. So that student is able to look at rough or soft to tell me the different descriptors. And then they were also able to turn it around and let us know with eye gaze if there are many scratches, no scratches, or some scratches. So all of these visuals I printed from the ULS curriculum so that's one thing I love about the ULS curriculum. I love that it had many visual supports that come with it. I just had to print, laminate, and Velcro to the appropriate places. For my students who are able to use an iPad to communicate, we programmed the app Go Talk Now so that they can make a choice from the field of two. Soft, rough. Rough. As the students were doing the experiment, I was walking around the classroom observing what they were doing as well as modeling on our projector using my Elmo how to fill out the how to fill out the data sheets. So as you can see, it goes over every step, which is wonderful. It goes over what we know. Step one, ask a question. Take step two, make a hypothesis. Step three, do the experiment, and it lays out the experiment. Step four, organize your data. So what happened? And then step five is to find the conclusion. Compare what happened to your hypothesis where any of your guesses correct. As I walked around observing each student, 
and talking about the lesson from my projector, I was also able to model the different steps of the scientific method. Ask a question. Ask a question. And then we... Make a guess. Make a guess. Do an experiment. Then we did the experiment. Soft versus rough. And we talked about uh, what was soft versus rough in the data. Completed scientific process. And then we're all done. We completed the scientific process. So I love how ULS sets everything out to make it accessible for our students. I do have to take it a step further and adapt it further because most of my students are level three. They're also non-speaking. And so I have to give them various ways to communicate so that they can engage and participate in a meaningful way. But that was our lesson that we did for Friday Fun Day. I want to add that it was an observation that I had with my admin. So it was the lesson where they came in to make sure I know what I'm doing. Um, and thanks to ULS, it definitely looks like I know <laughs> what I'm doing. And so I wasn't able to film the students participating just because it was an observation lesson. I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what other videos you'd like to see on my channel. And of course, I'd like to create them for you. Until next time, bye. <laughs>